In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to create master measures. All right. So, master measures are the measures which can be reused across the dashboard. We have to create the scripts or functions one time and we can use it multiple times. So, let's see to create a measures. Because without dimension and measure, we cannot create a chart. So go to measure library here. The measure would be something different because in dimensions, we simply added the fields in measure. We have to use the functions into it. What are the functions needed to create this chart? You have to define. So here, the measure, whether it is a create new measure segment color so here you have to define the measure name and in the descriptions you have to give number of orders number of orders it should be Listing dot ID. Here you have to put in the expression and description in the description also you can put it. Number of order we have created. You simply drag it, you would see the total number of order. Six thousand five hundred seventy-one was the order value. So Here in the number of orders, why I have used uh, distinct? Let us understand. Number of order, then number of product. Number of product values. Count. Distinct. Product ID. What does it mean? Why not simply uh, count product ID? Uh, why are we using count distinct product ID? The answer is if there will be any repetitive product ID in the table, say product ID 101, if there would have been repeated multiple times in the record, then if you use simple count, then those three repetitive data will be also considered as a three records or three products whereas if you just use distinct then the repetitive records will be considered as one product okay if there will be 10 time repetitions in the table also then that will be considered as it is a one product that means distinctly or uniquely counting the values or data in the table So whenever you are use, using count, you just mention this. Number of product. Number of customer. Customer ID. First of all, I'm creating these numbers like this. Number of number of employee, employee ID.
number of sales person okay that's fine let's have this uh, only for the numbers now I have to create for the values like quantity quantity it should be sum of now you must have understood that why I have, I have used the small name to the tables if I would have given a long name like order details then every time I would have to write order detail dot quantity so it would have been difficult for me to recall those fields to the script and the script will also look like very clean so it's better to give a small or uh, short names to the tables while we are creating the data model quantity is one unit price Order price expense expenditure. Employee salary is expense to the company, so I'll just use this as a expense. So this will be also useful statistics for me. Invoice amount. So from invoice amount, what is the amount is there? That's our revenue actually. Okay that's the revenue sum of revenue This is salesperson num number of salesperson. Same way, I can create a lot of other measures. And same way I can create other so this is basically one time activity you have to create once keep effort once and then you can repetitively use this railways GDP per capita So, lot of measures we have created as well as lot of dimensions we have created over here. You have to give effort one time and enjoy the features multiple times while creating a chart. So, uh, if you just compare this with the uh, click view, every time I had to create a chart and while creating a chart, I had to rename the attributes in the chart property. Suppose I have this uh, CST customer. So every time I had to uh, create a chat, I had to add CST to a customer to the dimension. Then I had to go to the its label and changing this to customer. Same way the, in the measures also. 
Suppose I have number of order to see in multiple charts. Okay, number of order means count, right? This is the uh, count. Distinct order ID. So this code I had to re write repetitively in multiple charts, multiple instances while creating a chart uh, in in uh, ClickQ. Okay. Well, if you are creating a, a statistics, there also I have to write count distinct order ID. When you are creating a chart bar graph, uh, then it's also we are using count distinct order ID. When I am creating another line chart, again count distinct order ID. So why to do these repetitions? Whereas coding is same. So click since enable this thing to make our life very easy. Give one time effort, and next time. It just add this master item simply drag and drop and it will be created you see i did not have to add any method or formula hereafter i'll simply add this number of products okay simply drag this. did it ask me to create any uh, functions or methods or anything no it'll add number of sales person. simply drag it very simply it will Count the measures, count the functions, and use the functions and simply create these attributes. Very easy. You see the look and feel of ClickSense. It has a separate color theme. It has automatic, you know, creation of these labels and automatic creation of these uh, attributes. Very easily, I could just create a statistic. I'll simply drag up a customer. One click, in just one click, then the customer is created. That's it. 92 customers are there. 90 customers are there. So that's pretty easy. So this is what the click sense is. And uh, here after in the next sessions, we will just try to create the visualizations by using these features or these dimensions and measures. So let's wrap up this with this today. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you would have liked this tutorial thanks for watching stay connected bye bye